All these edges have to be cleaned up. And the perfect tool for that is one of these oscillating cutters. And uh, then you can follow it up with an orbital sander if you need to. I started thinking it doesn't make a lot of sense that I just did the whole forward section in 1708. But these four squares are only covered in six ounce cloth, so I went ahead and prepped these areas by sanding. And uh, now I'm going to wipe them down and then put 1708 on them. For templates for the 1708 in this section, I've just used some roll of kids drawing paper and made one of these. So this will give me a pretty precise piece of 1708 to cut out. Then I just flip it over for the other side. Well, here's the template in the sternmost compartment. I'm just going to do a thin string of epoxy across this. Use an old Starbucks cup as my mixed cup and cover it up with, follow with a squeegee. Spread it around. I don't want the epoxy to pool anywhere. Okay. Once it's mostly saturated, I'm going to flip it over. Fill in any areas that don't look saturated. I'm just using some scrap pieces for this, so you can see there's already one thin strip here.
Okay, I'm done for tonight. I got peel ply on all these sections best I could. To be honest with you, I've only used peel ply on about a quarter of this boat. And um, I, I find it tricky to put on. It helps a bit if you put some extra epoxy over the top of it. Um, but it, it kind of moves a lot, around a lot when I'm putting it on. So, But I know it's important. It helps remove the amine blush which is like this waxy surface that comes up when the epoxy cures and it makes it so you don't have to sand it anymore. It makes it uh, a bit smoother once it cures. Smoother but also uh, rough enough that it will accept another layer of fiberglass or paint without having to sand. This turned out really nice, especially man, right here on this vertical support it is so strong well there's not much that's going to be traditional on this boat but i couldn't help but picking up a classic brass ship's clock. So um, I picked this up on eBay and uh, it was $50 and then after taxes and shipping and stuff it was 67 but I think it'll be really nice to have this one piece on a bulkhead. Well, I figure it might be a year before this boat's finished, so this should be on a wall instead of in some drawer somewhere. Let's see. I got another crappy template here. This is for the starboard side and port side longitudinals. The top isn't really important. I just need the bottom curve, the back end, the front end, and especially where it goes over the oak beams. Well, the cardboard templates were a success, and I got uh, two longitudinals cut out of my uh, PVC foam. As you can see them here. Uh, this will be the battery box basically. You could store two car batteries. I think I may need only one if I if I go with lithium and then maybe some kind of weight up here or, or I put the one right in the middle. We'll see. Um, but there'll be a panel this way. Uh, which is why I've cut this slot here eight centimeters down. So another piece is going to slot into here. This will be removed after I fiberglass it. There's another one for C4. That's a whole frame. And C3 will go there. And then it butts up against C2 along that line. And then the mast is going to go right here. You might notice uh, lighting improved in here. I had a friend who was moving and he gave me these LED hanging lights, which are just 
awesome. I mean, this place was like a cave before, but now lighting has really improved. All right, hey everyone, it is 6 p.m. Sunday, December 26, 2021. And uh, I think what I'm gonna try and accomplish tonight is to fiberglass both sides of the long longitudinals I've shown you already. And uh, as you've seen, I've already, <clears throat> I've already vacuumed and wiped them down for dust. Next, I uh, cut a plastic piece of two millimeter um, drop cloth plastic, which you can see, uh, you can see the project back there. Um, so I cut that plastic about double the width of the project. And um, so tonight I'm going to try to put uh, six ounce cloth on both sides with peel ply on each side and then uh, fold that plastic over the project. So both sides should be, all be done tonight. And I'll try to show you each step of that process or at least the results of that process. I may not be able to film while I'm doing it. And then I think I'll just post this video because it's been a while since the last one. I don't want you guys to think I uh, threw in the towel or anything. I've stretched the plastic from one side of this plywood gluing board to the other and uh, clamped it in place so it's tight. You don't want wrinkles because they're going to transfer to the project. And lay the six ounce cloth over this piece. This piece is almost eight feet long so I'm going to have to use two pieces of six ounce cloth. And uh, I cut it out with about a one centimeter extra on the edges. And uh, where necessary I'll, I might put an F for forward or a port a P for port or S for starboard just to um, when I'm rolling it out so that I know where pieces go and what I'm going to do is roll this from forward to stern when I go to fiberglass the project it's very easy I always roll from stern to forward all right now the four sides are prepared and rolled up that took an hour just to cut those and now I got the peel ply laid out and I've laid it over the foam core and we're going to cut four of these out now. As my friend Jurban would say, hello friends, now it is later than it was before. It's 10 p.m. I worked for about an hour and a half just to prepare all these uh, pieces, peel ply, cutting fiberglass just how I want. And uh, then I took a break for dinner and to feed the kids um, and put them to sleep. So it's 10 p.m. now. I'm gonna try and work on this. And uh, I don't think I'm gonna film it because you guys, you've seen it all before. I'm gonna wet, wet out one side, lay on six ounce cloth, and then the peel ply. Flip each piece, do the same again. And then I'm going to take this plastic and pull it over and just smooth it all out like that. All right, now it's 11.40 p.m. And uh, I finished both sides. So about an hour and a half to wet out the foam core, put on six ounce fiberglass on both sides, and peel ply on both sides. I folded the plastic over. I needed two hands for that. Well, we're closing in on midnight on December 26th, and I'm going to finish up this video now. I've got the project back there curing. I put some flat boards on top of it. It's not at all necessary. I didn't do it with the frames for the most part, but it also doesn't hurt, and it really makes sure that you uh, press that fiberglass down. Next time you see me, I'll be cleaning up the edges of those longitudinals, and then we'll attach them to the hull, starboard, and port side on the bottom there 
to uh, really stiffen it up. I hope everybody enjoyed your Christmas and have a great New Year's, everyone. See you next time. Mr. Bordon, let's make all preparations for getting on the way. That guy sure likes to carry things. Hey, uh, what's your name, buddy? Home. How do we get back to your station? Or I'll have you shot for a mutineer. Well, shoot something. <laughs>